So a few years ago, the National Governors Association um, came together at a conference where all the governors get together and talk about what are some of the big policy questions across the nation. And this was one of the big topics that they began to talk about. And they said, instead of all the individual states going out and creating a set of standards, would it make sense to um, have standards that more states adopt? Couldn't we pool this knowledge and this work and come up with a common set of standards? And so they asked that lots of educational professionals, business people, parents, and so on get together and figure out what is this set of standards. And they did that work several years ago. That set of standards is now called the Common Core Set of Standards. So a lot of people have gotten concerned about this because they want to call it a national curriculum. So what we've done is created a national curriculum. First of all, I think 46 states now have adopted the Common Core. In the state of Oregon, that was a piece of work that the Oregon School Board did. There's a school board called the Oregon School Board. It's a, you know, a, citizens, a group of citizens who sit on a board a lot like your local school board, but it's for the whole state. People are paying more attention to it right now because the first time that Oregon students are assessed, take a test against the Common Core, will be in the spring of 2015. So a year from this spring, um, students will take that instead of the Oaks test, and the Oaks test tests against Oregon's set of standards. And um, because the Common Core is a lot higher standard, there are gonna be fewer students who pass the Common Core test, which in Oregon is called the Smarter Balanced Assessment. And so um, it will be a really interesting time uh, to look at that and see how that all turns out. But I know that the passing rate on it is going to be much lower than it currently is on Oregon State Assessment. So that's part of what we're doing there. It is a, it certainly is something that's controversial in some ways because it creates more of this national look at what, at what the curriculum looks like, even though it's not been adopted by the federal government, it's not been adopted by the U.S. Department of Education, they are sort of finding ways to incent states to want to participate, right? Because they hold some big purse strings, and so they have incented states to some degree to do that. We, the, out of the legislature, we secured $10.5 million to work on educator effectiveness and implementation of the Common Core. The things about Smarter Balanced is, that, and that's the assessment that goes with the Common Core that Oregon's adopted, this test called the Smarter Balanced Assessment. It's a test that, is, um, that requires bringing together more thinking skills in the way that you answer the questions. It's not a multiple choice test. It is in some of its multiple choice, but there's a lot more writing, a lot more deep deep questions that ask students to actually perform a task as opposed to just do a bubbling, including some writing. So we think it's a better assessment. Um, it is a fairly time intensive assessment, three and a half hours on it is what they're telling us right now. So it takes a while to do that, it's a long test. And if you're teaching to the Common Core, you should, you know, the Common Core standards, you should be teaching to, it's should be the same as teaching to the Smart Balance Assessment. And so um, we've got that underway. Right now, say if 75 or 80 percent of students meet in any given standard in the state, we expect the first time we get a smarter balance, it will be about 40 percent. About 40 percent. How is that going to be evaluated compared to a mechanical multiple choice test? You know what? That's still being determined. Am I going to have to chase up someone that I think created my child test wrong? The question was, assessment is going to be scored, basically. Yeah. Well, what's traditionally been done by the other 45 available? Uh, Smarter Balance doesn't, isn't that being used yet, except in pilot school. 